All right, everybody, this is a bit of a detour from my normal Nearest videos. It's just basically going to be a, a kind of an intro to MATLAB video here. Um, in playing with lots of different programming environments uh, and programming languages, uh, I've noticed that many of the languages actually offer sample data sets. Uh, what I wasn't aware is MATLAB actually had the same thing. I probably should have known this, but I never was introduced to it. Um, so what's fantastic about this is actually there's a series of data sets readily available for you with different characteristics that would allow you to not have to worry about how to format the data, how to manipulate it to actually get it into your environment. You just pull it in and it's readily available. So if you're practicing a certain thing or you're running a certain model or you're trying to do something that has nothing to do with data formatting or data processing or anything like that, uh, or even if it is data processing, uh, you can directly pull data in. So it's much easier than having to search the web, find the data set, tweak the data set so that it loads in the way you want, figure out what you know what might be going on with it. So in order to find these, just go up into the search bar here and look up sample data sets. And you'll see the first link here will have them in. And these are the data sets available. Uh, one of the data sets that might look familiar is this Fisher Iris data set. I think just about anybody who's done any sort of uh, either classification or anything has, pro oh, me. has probably played with uh, this Fisher uh, or this Iris data set. In addition to that, you have things like breakfast cereal ingredients and um, wide range, a lot of auto stuff, um, air quality stuff, simulated stock returns, etc. Uh, the one thing that's been somewhat disappointing is I can't find any detailed um, uh, descriptions of what the data sets are, so what the variables are, what they mean, you know, things like that. Um, but you can pull them in. I'm guessing there's some Google, um, uh, you, if you Google up the data set, you can find more detailed information, but I haven't done that yet. Um, in order to pull it in, though, it's actually pretty easy here. So let me actually cancel that out. I'll close my workspace here. So in order to load it in, I'm just gonna actually hit load space and the name of the file. Um, what's really nice is I can actually write it in here. You can say load space, and if I actually just do car big, it'll actually pop up. So even though it's not in my uh, directory here, uh, it'll actually load in. So you can come in, do that, and you'll get each of the columns put in. So these they each have their own variable. What I don't like about that is I like dealing with a table. Um, I like dealing with the table and having the variables organized as columns. Um, so in order to do that, you can actually pull the MATLAB, vari or MATLAB function table and then all you're going to put in as input is the name of the variables. So you'll have acceleration, cylinder, I'm guessing that's four cylinder, cylinders, displacement, horsepower, the dot 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 here will actually enable a new line at the bottom. Um, so I should be able to go ahead and highlight this and click F9 and it'll run and you'll see I actually have a data table now. So here you have acceleration, how many cylinders, there they are, eight. Um, what's the displacement, horsepower, what manufacturer, what model, what model year. You get all the information actually built into a table, which is quite nice. In doing that, you actually get dot notation from that. So now you can actually say data table dot your variable. And just to show you, I did a data table dot horsepower. I scatter plotted it, at, that is the x uh, axis and then data table dot acceleration is the y-axis. So assumingly, if you have more horsepower, your, I believe it's acceleration time, it should go down. Uh, so if I run that, you'll see my acceleration time goes down. So great. Um, you can make some guesses here. You know, here's some, a slow acceleration time with a good amount of horsepower. Imaginably, imaginably that's probably just a big car with a big engine. And of course, the acceleration of a big car would require a big engine, but not necessarily move fast. Um, but that'll get, that'll actually allow you to pull in some data sets, play with them, practice some classification algorithms or some plotting or some um, regression techniques or whatever it might be you want to practice. And you don't have to worry about all this formatting. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. And I, I'm actually going to post how to pull in similar data sets in R and also in Python in a couple of videos. So um, I'm gonna kind of venture out uh, into a couple other areas. To hopefully it'll be of some use for some folks. Anyway, thank you and hope that was enjoyable.